today's lesson, we are going to be learning how to solve a 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube. But before we jump into solving this, we need to know our basic notation. So this cube can move in many different ways. Like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, even like this. So let's get into solving, into learning this. So this is a right face. And when you move it up or clockwise, it's R. And when you move it down or anti-clockwise, it's R apostrophe. And it's basically the opposite with the left face. This is clockwise, so it's down and it's L. And then up would be L apostrophe. And then this is the up face. That is U, or clockwise, and that is U apostrophe, or anti-clockwise. And then the opposite for the, for the down face, so D, D apostrophe. So for the front face, F, F apostrophe, B, B apostrophe. And there you have it. But... Also, we have to know what these kinds of pieces are because they are different kinds. So these are corner pieces. They have three faces. Edges have two, these ones. And then the centers have one. And then uh, an important uh, thing to note is that the white center is across from the yellow, green across from blue, and red across from orange. So, again, blue, green, yellow, white, orange, red. And the way you'll know that you have to, that one side is the side that you're solving is where the center is. So, let's get solving. If you haven't scrambled your cube already, go ahead and do it. Usually, for the best to scramble, you might want some people scrambling it for you. But in this case, you can just scramble it. And the, to, the way to start out is to get a, the white center up on the up face. So like that. And then you have to get the white edges. Remember, the edges like this. You have to get the edges around the white in a daisy. It looks like a daisy when it's complete. So there's no specific algorithm or anything like that. You just have to play around with it and then get it. So like that. And remember, that there's and remember, don't think a corner is an edge because those are two different things. So now we have our daisy. Let's move on to the next step. So take your daisy and look at the front face this one when you look at this edge if it matches up then you can continue but if it doesn't then you have to match it up so basically when i say match up i mean this edge has to be the same color as the center so i'll just flip that and then now it's matched up and once it's matched up you'll do f2 or ff when I say two, that means that you have to move that face two times. So let's do that with all of the edges. And this step is called making a white cross. So I'll just do that. And now we've got a white cross. The next step is here. So now that we have a white cross, we have to orient the centers. I mean, the corners. So what we'll do is we need to find a yellow, a white corner. So this is here, and then we have to find the 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 face the the color of it, the other color next to it, like this, right there, and we have to match that color up with a center. So for me, it's already matched up. And if your white tile is on the on the right, then you'll do D apostrophe, R apostrophe, D, R. And there you go. It's up here. And then you can find another one, just like this. And this time it's on the left. 
So you do D, L, D apostrophe, L apostrophe. And there we go. And now we have a bit of a challenge because this algorithm only works if these tiles are in this layer. But they're not because, at least for me, one of them is up here and one of them is down here. So first, let's get this one out. So we'll just do F, D, F apostrophe, D, D. And that takes it out right there. And then what we'll do is we'll just match it up like regular, like that. And then we'll do our same al algorithm. And that pushed this one that was in the top layer down. But if it was in the top layer, you would do this, this, this. Okay, I just took it out. Now let me put these back in. And once your cube looks like this, with miniature tees, it doesn't matter if the edges are there or not, then you can move on. If it doesn't, you might want to redo this process, maybe even scramble it again, and see in the next step. So this is a layered method. You might notice that there are three different layers. So these are the layers, and we have just solved one layer. This one. So now we have, we're, our goal is to solve this one. So the first thing that, to do is to find a face. So just find um, any face. Doesn't really matter. So let me pick this green. And then you have to m match it up so that uh, there's a green edge here. And, and the white face is on the bottom. Remember that. And you have to make sure that there's a color that's not blue right there. So it'll be like that. And then you have to look at that edge. What color is it? For me, it's orange. So this orange edge needs to go to one of these spots. And if you look le right and left, you'll notice that this right face is, go is orange. So what I'll do is I'll move this right. So I'll do this algorithm. U, R, U apostrophe, R apostrophe, U apostrophe, F apostrophe, U, F. And that put it in place. And then we'll make another one of these, this time it's red. And we know that orange is opposite of red, so we'll be moving this left. So we'll do U apostrophe, L apostrophe, U, L, U, F, U apostrophe. F apostrophe. And that got that all fixed up. So then, we'll make another pattern like this. And we know what to do. So orange is on this side. We'll just move it left, so like this. Using that same algorithm. And there we go. It's placed. And we'll find this one. And we know that it has to go there, so this algorithm... Move it. And then now we have it. Look right there. Both of these layers are, sol are solved. So let's move on and uh, solve the final layer. See you then. So before we start going, we have to hold our Rubik's Cube in a way that either looks like this with these three, these two edges around the, around the center in a horizontal fashion just the center is fine if you don't have any or like a person sitting or a chair like so like a yellow edge there but it, but it doesn't matter as long as you got this here and then you do this algorithm because we're trying to make a yellow cross like we made that white one so we'll do f u r u r F. And we probably will have to repeat this. So now we have our chair. So F U R U R F. So now we have our yellow cross. So let's move on. So we will need to put these corners up there. And right now it doesn't matter how the corners are because the corners are going to be messed up a, quite a bit. 
even if we put it in correctly. So, our goal is to get all the yellow face, but our minor goal is basically to to get a cross and then have only one yellow corner there. That, for me, is the easiest way. So, it's basically the same algorithm on uh, for both times. So, R U R apostrophe U R U two, and we still have two corners. So let's just keep doing that algorithm. So now we'll do that same algorithm, but we still have, but now we have that one thing. This makes it a lot easier, and we might have to do this again. So like. And voila, we have it. Let's move on to the next step. So now that we have our yellow face solved, we will move on to the next step. We have to fix these corners before we move on. So that's gonna be our next step. So try and match up two corners like this. And then put that like that. So, and then do this algorithm, R apostrophe F, R apostrophe B2, R, F apostrophe, R apostrophe B, B2, R, R, and then bang. So now we can move on. We're almost done. So our final and last step is to just move these edges into their correct spots. But we have to learn how to hold a Rubik's Cube. Usually, you have a solved side. Put that side on the back. If you don't have one, well, it doesn't matter what, what side you put on the back. You just have to do this algorithm a couple of times. So, you have to look at where you're moving this edge. I'm moving this edge there. So, then, that will affect everything. everything. So, when I'm moving my cube, in the algorithm, there are two U or up face turns. And we're going to change both of those turns to U apostrophe rather than U. So, like this. The algorithm is, well, if you're moving it left, then you just do it U. Don't do U apostrophe. That'll mess you up. Only if you're moving this edge right, then you'll do um, U apostrophe. So, let's get to the algorithm. F2... U apostrophe, L, R apostrophe, F2, L apostrophe, R, and then U apostrophe, and then F2. And there we have it. We've solved it. Good job, and congratulations. I hope you liked this video. Please like, share, and subscribe.